focus on the pronunciation of Spanish consonants, which are the most different from English. Most other letters in the Spanish language sound very close to our English letters with only very subtle differences, so we won't waste time on those. If you pronounce certain letters in a more American way, you'll still be understood perfectly. I'll be discussing just a few more of the consonants in some separate videos. Okay, let's roll. The H in Spanish is silent. Simply pretend it isn't there. Ignore it. Here are some names with H in them. Hernando. Héctor. Hilda. Horacio. In Spanish, the J sounds like RH in English, but uh, some, in some areas it's a, a little bit throatier. It just depends on the region that uh, the Spanish speaker is from as to how throaty they will pronounce their J. Typically, it just sounds like a, an H. Uh, you've probably heard J sounding like an H in some popular food items like jalapenos and fajitas. Here's some names, Jose, Juana, Jaime, Julia, The L in Spanish is the same as it is in English, but when there's a double L, it sounds like the English Y, Y, uh, or maybe a little bit stronger, like J. And again, this will vary depending on the regional accent from the different Spanish-speaking countries. Uh, you've heard uh, the d double L pronounced like a Y in words like tortilla and quesadilla. Uh, here's some names with a double L in them. Estrella. Guillermo. Ñ. The Ñ, that's what this is called, it sounds like Ñ. It's like the N-I in onion or union. It's the only letter in the Spanish alphabet that we don't have in English you've probably heard it in the word jalapeno. Uh, here's some rather uncommon names with ñ in them. Beñat, Garbiñe, And everybody gets hung up on the dreaded Spanish R. Really, if you pronounce it like an American, it's a dead giveaway that you're from the U.S., but don't sweat it. You'll still be understood. It's not a big deal. Um, generally, at the beginning of the word, the R is rolled. If it's inside a word, it's flapped. It sounds kind of like the double T in our words butter or letter. Uh, and here's an example word, raro. It's got the r rolled r at the beginning and the flapped r at the at, in the middle. Raro. The uh, rolled r takes some practice, but don't worry if you can't get it just right. Uh, some people try and try and they never get it quite right. You will still be understood. Here are some names that start with R, so it'll be rolled. Ramon, Raquel, Rafael, Rebecca, Raul. And here are some names with the R inside the name, so remember to flap your R rather than rolling it. Pedro, Sara, Teodoro, Teresa, Mario.
if the R is supposed to be rolled inside a word, then typically it's a double R rather than a single R. Um, burrito and churro are words that you've probably heard with a double R in them, although they probably pronounce them burrito and churro. But it, those are uh, rolled R's because they're double R's. Uh, here are some Spanish surnames with a double R in them. Um, señor means Mr. and Señora means Mrs. Señora Barros. Señor Guerrero. Señora Ibarra. Señor Gutiérrez. Señor Terrazas. Okay, now the X once in a while is pronounced like an H. And the most common examples are Mexico and Mexicano. That's how they pronounce Mexico and Mexican. Um, there are even a couple of other pronunciations for the letter X, but they're extremely uncommon, so we're not even going to worry about those right now. Usually, the X is pronounced exactly the same way we pronounce it in English. Um, there, here are some names uh, with X in them that sound just like they would if you said them in, in, with the English X. Roxana, Maximiliano. And the most common name with an X that is pronounced like an H is Javier. In Latin America, the Z sounds like an S. Now, you'll hear it pronounced differently when you listen to somebody from Spain, they will pronounce it like a TH, like they're lisping th instead of S. But um, we're going to focus on the Latin American pronunciation because that is what you're more likely to hear in the workplace um, around town here in the United States. So, Zeta sounds like S. Zacarias. Luz, Lorenzo, Paz. Okay, and that is it for the lesson on consonants. I hope you learned something. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and uh, a comment, and we'll see you in the next video.